we need to obtain the solution to the given system of linear inequality. So this is a system of linear inequality because here we have two linear inequation 0 less than negative x over 2 and we have negative x over 2 less than 3 but it's written in a combined form. Now let's try to solve them. So here what we'll do we'll first let's write down the equation the inequation so we have 0 less than negative x divided by 2 less than 3. What we will do here, we'll multiply throughout with positive 2. And in doing so, the sign of the inequality is not going to change. So that means we have 0 multiplied to 2, less than negative x over 2, multiplied to 2, less than 3 multiplied to 2. What we have done here is use the property. Let's say we have three numbers, a, b, and c. And here a is less than b, and b is less than c. And we also have another number d. And let's say d is a positive number d is greater than zero so if we multiply a with d b with d and c with d then the sign of the inequality is not going to change right and there is another property if our value d is a negative number then in that case what will happen if we multiply a with d b with d and c and d the sign will change so we'll get c of c d less than b d less than a We'll use this two cases. So here we'll have 0 multiplied to 2. So that's 0 less than negative x over 2 multiplied to 2. So that's negative x less than 3 times 2. So that is positive 6. Now what we'll do? We want to make this the coefficient of x, which is a negative, to a positive. To do that, we'll multiply with negative 1. So negative 1 means it's less than 0. So that means our inequation will then become 6 less than x less than negative 6 less than x less than 0. What we've done, we have multiplied throughout with negative 1, but we also have to rearrange it to write x lying between negative 6 and 0. So if we want to express this in the interval form, we have our solution going from negative 6 to 0, and this is going to be an open interval because the endpoints are not part of the solution. So this is the solution to the given system of linear inequality.